Yesterday, I managed to clear all of this space. We now have all of this back. This is just an empty box. We did so, so well, so, so well. So with all of this space, it only means one thing. We've got more space to fill. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go see my place, I'm gonna fill the car and bring back way more stuff than I need and create an absolute hellhole for me to work in. See you in a bit. All right, I'm back and the car is full. And to be honest with you, most of this is gonna be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you guys. Because it gets to a point where I'm just filling up and I'll forget what I've got or I'll see like a bag or a box full of goodies and just pick it up. So I think what I'm gonna do first is get this Amazon bag out, if I can. Because for some reason, mother-in-law thought she'd park in front of the garage which has left me stuck. So can I get this out without messing all the got golf clubs down there? I think that's a PlayStation in there, I didn't check. I just saw the box, it was heavy, so I grabbed it. Golf clubs and stuff. Will this come out without breaking anything? Ooh. Yes. <sighs> How's my toe? Let's get this in and see what's in here. Let's have a peek first. That's a PlayStation. Right. So we've got Garage Live tonight, so I want to try and unload this into here and keep a nice space ready for tonight. I think I might have to speak to John about changing the days because Wednesdays are so hard for me. Wednesday is the day that I pick up most of my stuff, games, Amstrad, no Commodore. And uh, I'll just, it just leaves me knackered at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Is it in there? Feels heavy. I've sold one of these before. I've only got about 25 quid. They look better than they are. Boom. Lovely. That's 25 quid back. That's actually really easy to list. I'll put that over here somewhere. Go um, somewhere easily accessible. In fact, I'm not going to empty it all out as we go because otherwise it could be a feather. What I'm doing is I'm looking to see if it's ever been opened and it hasn't. The warranty sticker's still there. So there's a good chance that'll work. Is that a Hopefully that's actually the... I wonder if that's the box for it in here. The box did feel heavy. What other PlayStation in there? Oh, there's no PlayStation in there. What is that? Speakers, but that is a box for a, is it for a slim or for a fast? For a fatty, isn't it? Mm. Oh well. Oh well. All right, so we've got a PlayStation. Handy. Amazon. Oh no, just a case. This ink by the look of it. Nice little ink. What's this? Some of these can be worth silly money and some can also be absolute trash. That's cool. A bit of Oasis. Sennheiser's HDR 120 with a stand. In fact, I guess probably 30 quid on a Sennheiser. Right, pal. This Sony Handycam looks a bit battered. Fuji film. Anything in there? Oh, brand new, whatever it is. What is that? A Now TV Talk Talk box. Lovely. Probably about 20 quid back on that. I'll see if I can go for it like quickly. Some cameras, because I don't even know what's in it. North Island Refinery, that's a model kit. Plane always do well on vintage planes, even in that state. Well, if that's anything to go by, the rest of them ain't going to be in much copper, are they? What's that? There's, there's the rest of the speakers down there. Loads of games. These will just go to Jack, regardless. Some key Please be in there. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? What's all this? I 
Don't know, but that wicker basket I'll probably sell for a fiver. Nice little Yamaha PA, 2025 I should imagine. I've got a nice, uh, I think it's a Roland. Is it a Roland? No, Marshall. I've got a Marshall lamp in the car. These are trash. They can go to the charity shop. That's just one IKEA box. We've got the car is rammed, guys. Rammoed. Ow. Oh. I'm too old to get my hands stuck in jeans. Oh, okay, that's the Panasonic. It's a Panasonic player there. And there's all the speakers. I'm guessing it's a surround sound. Let's see if I can dig into there. Yeah, listen. So there's a subwoof at the bottom. What's this? Makita DAB radio. Wonder if that's in there. Sometimes people get a new radio, switch it over with the old one, and get rid. Rodney you plonka. So what is it? Yeah, it's definitely a switch over. DMR 104W. This one is a well, it could be, you know. BMR 101, yeah, it's a switch over. It's got a lovely fresh new one, isn't he? He's gone for that. Still worth some dive. What if it turns on? If it does, well, not right now. But that's fine. I'm not going to complain about a Makita radio, are we? Mm, good. We'd be very selfish if we did. And this, as you can see, is why my garage will never be completely empty. Because once, sometimes twice a week, I go and fill the car up. Um, I'm going to leave all that in there. What are these? A pair of specialised. I'm going to leave all that stuff in there because I know, I know what it is. But I do want to see if... I want to see what... Um, yep. Oh. Our head's gone. I want to see what's in here. It's a Bosch. Is it a decent Bosch? Or is it a Kieran Bish Bash Bosch? Cats, dogs and rabbits and all that. Wait, hold on. It was right the first time. Mm, could be up to 40 quid on that. Let's have a look. I'll put it back in there actually. That's I'm going to put it all back in there. Because it's nice and manageable like that. While I've got to do garage live tonight. I am going to speak to John actually. He'll be like, oh, you want to do Wednesday? Yeah, but that was, that was before I was driving up and down the fucking motorway all day. Leave that there in case I can put anything else in there. Right, what else have we got in here? What can I get out and show you? So I don't really know. Uh, sewing machine, really nice one actually. Xbox One. Funko Pop mask. Oversized Batman mask. Wow. Ow, oh, that's my fucking head. Uh, F&M makeup samples in the box. I've got this because Emma does this. So if anybody, if anybody of you want, not makeup, perfume, if anybody of you want your, uh, your perfume is, holler, Emma does it. I've got that for her. I think she's already got one actually, but just being an outward looking boyfriend, aren't I? More games, little steel book there. Slosh them in there for a minute. I'm going to be pretty brutal. You'll see me like just lobbing things around and stuff, but here's what it is. You got to one side. Ada can be the product tester for that. Uh, Lego, big fat Lego thing. in there, don't know what that is, don't know what that is, Chinese, Trackmaster, in a box, 
Some of these can be worth good money. I'm sure most of you know by now, you're looking for the diamond on the bottom. Can't see any here. But it's got to come out, so that'll come out for now. Skylanders. Some bloke took away all of his Lego boxes. He took away the Bugatti and the other one. I was going to keep all the boxes, but the boxes weren't selling for much. However, this manual seems like it sells for a little bit, so a little bit's better than nothing. Pop that with the rest of the legs. This is a really nice sewing machine. Don't know what it's worth here, but it's in really good condition. Normally, I don't bother, but that one was too nice to leave behind. I'll show you if I get a chance. See, look at that, already filling up again. It was lovely yesterday, wasn't it? Well, not complaining. Some of these sort of things do really well. I picked it up because it's an older one and it was intact. So I grabbed it. Could be worth a couple of quid. Could be worth nothing. I know the pigeons and the doves do really, really well, depending on the maker and stuff. I've got here. Ah, some lovely fiberglass lampshades. These are really, really nice. 50s, 60s. There's a green one in there. Another yellow one. Put these somewhere safe actually. Well, there is nowhere safe. I'm not going to throw them straight into the box, that's for sure. Put them there for now. There we go. So, I released my, I released yesterday's video early this morning. I hope a few of you enjoyed that. I hope a few of you had something to watch while you were doing your jobs. I always quite like watching people work when I do my work sometimes. It keeps me motivated. Pintax camera batteries have leaked. No thank you, but that is a nice strap. Look at that. We'll have the strap off that. We will rip you down. I can find another use for that. But that, I'm not even going to bother. Does the lens come off? Take the lens off. And the lens cap. But that, your time has come. Uh, might be able to sell the manual. I'm going to keep the box though, obviously, because it's cardboard. But that's a really nice strap, that, isn't it? Like a very Aztec -y sort of Think of the uh, Ralph Lauren -y kind of stuff that everybody wants. Wear that as a, I don't know, whatever. You haven't got time to think about that. That looks like a bit of suede, a bit of leather, tablecloth sort of stuff. So, crystal glass, crystal wear. Doesn't seem to be any chips. Because if there was, I'd get some dip. Hilarious. What's this? All right, what else we got? Fisher Prize record player. One record. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Oh, I thought that was, thought that was film. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Still sealed, out of date 2005. Still sell. Ah, some more records, and some more records. Beautiful. See, half the time I don't know what's in there. I just see a box that's full and interesting. Oh, yeah, see a PlayStation controller there. These feel very light. Although they are Carl, Carl Wetzler. So, a little rule of thumb when it comes to binoculars, the heavier they are, <laughs> normally the better quality. They don't feel very heavy at all. Doesn't mean they're not worth anything. What's that? Oh, cubic MP3 player. That's a PlayStation 2 with a nice little crystal memory card. I like these little see through clear ones. Uh, I'll leave that in there. Risk snapping it off, but I'll leave it in there. Wrong hole, fool. Controller. Power pack for something. Charger for the PlayStation. What's that? Very cheap. Very crappy feeling. Apple TV. Is that a remote? Oh, it's just a remote. Lovely. Yeah, nice little. What's that video there? Ah, oh, full of stamps. They sell well. Oh, that's a nice little box. So far, we're moving in the right direction. What is this? Phillips foot pedal. 
oh maybe that controls the starting and stopping of the recording of this a transcription machine executive so that could be nice i'll pop that in there things like this don't tend to sell very well but you know you can always be surprised never say never never turn down a just all, all i've got to do is go on ebay search it see what the solds are i'll know won't i if they're any good i'll sell them if not i'll see if they're sellable on in store and i'll donate them canard i am for canard looks like some kind of atari commodore aged almost looks homemade it might well be so someone's sawn that out, like chopped it out. Could be. Could be a homemade remote device. Christmas around the corner. I don't know, could be a tenner, could be 50 quid. I'm trying to keep a little path there again still. Uh, a little top by Roman. Don't think it's worth much, to be honest. If it's not, I'll probably see if Emma wants it. Size 14 would be a bit baggy on her, but oversized. So leave that to one side for a minute. I hope you're enjoying these sorts of videos. I'm enjoying making them. What I'm trying to do is I'm just working and you're just here. If I picked up an empty bag, it feels heavy. Oh, okay. Four. What size are they? They feel small. I like the nice small ones. Size five, we call it. Size zero, that could be very good. Size zero, the smaller the size, they tend to sell a lot better. Like your standard size five is all quite average. Everybody has them. You know, they sell, they sell all right still, but you want to try and get them. Like a three or two. I've never had a zero. Never even heard of a zero. Right, we've got a lovely Samsonite box here in very, very tidy condition inside. Normally they're trashed inside. Look at that. Key's just there. Yeah, lovely. Very, very nice. Not too sure on the value. You know, they're all over the place, aren't they? But in that condition, could be very healthy. When I say very healthy, like 40 quid. I'm going to leave some of this in the car now. Marshall Base State b30 should we look it up b30 uh, b150 b65 sells for 32 oh b30 there we go 70 quid 89 quid they're on bids you don't want to do bids yeah so maybe 60 70 quid i've got to clean it though look at that with these ones you have to get actually a wet wipe on it not a wet wipe like a cloth i normally wet baby wipe everything that's gonna need a cloth on that because it is into all the grains but normally they say they still work regardless how long have i been going 20 minutes obviously it won't be 20 minutes because there'll be a few little cuts here and there that we have ascertained is probably the rest of that that kit in there isn't it communicator nice little sony soundbar never seen this one before it's got almost got a lever effect on the back uh, let's look this one up as well sony ht x8500 139 157 with a remote i might have a remote for that 90 without a remote 109 without a remote yeah 100 quid on that so if, if, if the average price on this is 109 pound uh, i'll list it for 89.99 it's just a way that i like to do business business let's put that there for a minute well obviously if there's if there's 100 of them listed if there's like one or none listed then i'll probably go for whatever the market is velux blinds they are what Ferns to it. Now, I thought with this, I wasn't sure if they were worth anything, but if not, I've got a window up there that might, you know, this might fit the window. And if it does, that'd be great. I have a blind up there. And it's going to be short by a few inches. So hopefully, um, hopefully it's worth something. It's Velux, it's a blind, it's brand new, it's a roller blind. It's got to be worth some up. Uh, right, what have we got here? So I won't bore you too much. We've got a, oh, we've got a nice guitar here, Stag. Hopefully this is worth a few quid. Beautiful, beautiful looking piece. Uh, a few scratches and stuff, but yeah, look at that. 
almost like a walnut-y type thing, it's missing a thing there. But should we have a look and see what it's worth? Has it got a serial code or a name? It hasn't. I'll save that for another time then I think. But yeah, lovely, lovely little guitar that. It's missing a little thing there, but that doesn't matter. I'll probably pinch one off another guitar if I wanted to. Let's just pop that on there. See, I'm just finding the spot and I'm putting it down. It's the only way I can do it. And then I have to get it listed, of course, because space is limited. But now you can see why my place gets full quickly. And why it's best for me to do competitive pricing. Let me just get these clubs out. I'm not going to bore you with these. We've got some tailor-mades. We've got some... Cobras, uh, Cobras, I've said Cobras, we've got some Yonex, some Wilson, some Big Burfers from Callaway. We've got a stack. I'm not going to bore you, or myself, by going through every single one. These can just go with the other ones that I need to list. Which are all there. I don't know if they're going to fit, to be honest. Are they going to fit? A little wiggle in the jiggle. That's going to be this weekend's job, actually. Get as many of them up as I can. I don't list them myself. They're just an absolute pain to list. Um, for me. Lovely little grey nickels bat. Just testing to see if the handle's fine. Ready for immediate use. Should we see what this one's worth? Grey nickels sells well. Good little brand. Grey. Nichols Cricket Bat. This is a Mega Drive, Mega Drive Ultra Blade. Uh, 370, hopefully that's eight and a half ounce minty fresh. Oh, this could be a good one. This could be a good one. Uh, 50, that's a different one, that's a different one. None sold. But that's the same bat, isn't it? 370. That's the exact same bat, that is. Doesn't mean it's worth that. I've got to obviously check it out. But Grey Nickels do do some quality bats. You know, if I go to... Let me look at that. 270, 570. If I go to sort by highest price. On just the listed stuff. Um, let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of the um, specifics. Let's teach you about grey nickels. Look at that. Sign, special one. Grand, two grand. Now let's go to the solds. Remember this brand when you're out and about. Sort of the highest. Uh, 560, signed. 419, just normal, non signed. 400, there's my one. No, it's not, it's a Delta, but it's very similar. 389, brand new. Brand new Ultimate Pro. Yeah, I think I've got a good one here. Super rare. Lovely. So I won't just uh, lob that anywhere. Yeah, well, let's put it there. What else am I going to put it? Right, what else have we got down in the little crevices? Hopefully I've edited this video down enough so it doesn't drag on. Oh, I've got another club there. Oh, we've got a 1999 Sabre here. I picked it up because of its age. Hopefully it works. If not, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it's from 99, this one. There you go. I think it's a uh, um, gravity one. Yeah, put that in there. I know the more modern Darth Maul ones, 2015, 2016, sell for 20 to 30 pound. So I'm hoping that one's a bit, a bit more expensive, being a little bit older. Right, is that it for stuff down here? Yes, wait, what's this? Pro programmable room thermostat. Can't tell you the value, 20 to 30 could I should imagine. Disneyland Resort Paris over the head hooded rain poncho. Again, no idea on value. British gas penguin. Um, Yoshi's egg. And brand new Weight Watchers calculator. I don't know, is it worth anything? Maybe, maybe not. 
we don't complain around here, I'm afraid. Well, that's that done. That's it. Right, is that everything? Showed you that. Oh, there's another bag there. Oh, there's two more bags in the front as well. I don't actually know what these are. They just looked a bit older. I think you might lay them out. I think they're floor pads. It's got like a little pillow there. So I think you lay them out and, well, you lay on them. So, like little mini lilo type things. Which got a nice vintage pattern, haven't they? They might not even be vintage, but they've got that pattern. Oh, and I saw this as well. Another cricket bat. Looks very old to me. So we're going to look at this together. Rebladed. I'm guessing that means somebody's repaired it or something. Oh, he made it. See, doesn't that look very old? Look. So I reckon they've repaired that and tried to redo the markings. Uh, anybody work that out? Galux. Uh, C A E. C A E. I don't know. W, I'm going to spell it ish and then just put cricket and see if it picks it up. See if it says, did you mean? Uh, no. I'll have to research that, but looks old. So I've got unlisted and getting settled with the listed stuff. Because what I'll do tomorrow, once uh, I've got the whole day then. Because you've got to think, this takes up most of my day today. Airship. Conica. Oh, it stinks of old. Do you know what I mean by that? Could be worth a bit of dosh. Do you know what I mean by it? it smells of old? That musty sort of smell. What's in here? Right, loads of ink. Go in there. That sort of thing does not excite me if I'm honest. Like I say, you never know, you can always be surprised. Nice little camera again in a nice little antler bag. Antler is, of course, a very nice brand. So, lovely. I'm going to start closing the lid on that one. What's this? Bon Tempe, Bon Tempe B3, sort of a accordion type thing. Who knows? Doesn't excite me, but I do have some money. Box of accoutrements, lobby tech. Oh man, I, obviously I had to leave a lot of it there. Um, I need to go back and pick the thing up. But basically, when I was there today, they had loads of war reenactment stuff. But I mean, like Viking stuff, not this. They had loads of like they had a big axe. Um, a spear, they had a um, sword, really heavy, so I've got to do my research and see if, where, if and where, obviously I can sell them somewhere, I might have to take them to an auction house. Uh, so that's just uh, guff in there basically. Let's have a look in the front, right, 32 minutes I've been filming. Hopefully we can keep this video a bit shorter than yesterday's. I know a lot of you like them a little bit longer. Sometimes I have to be a bit longer because I'm doing longer stuff. That looks fresh. Just joking, it was mine. Don't drink other people's waters. Well, we've got Nintendo Wii. What's the betting that neither of these games are in there? Oh, they are. Wii Sports and Mario Kart. Lovely. Hey. Is it one of them? I don't really care about these two, but Let's see if we can get us oh, a recharge, but we won't we'll put that straight in the bin. Just looking for anything standout-ish. That's a custom, somebody's done that. Ah, you bastard. 
probably going to end up in the bin anyway, but you know, I can clean them off, so I'll, ch I'll check it first. I won't put too much effort into it. What's in here? Rugged terrain boots. Oh, okay. This is some of the stuff I did pick up. Um, armor plate. Bit of chain mail. Uh, some more chain mail. Is that a vintage lead hatch? Chain mail linkage. See, so you can see what's, you can see the sort of stuff that came in. Just looking for a date. I like to see how long things have been sat around for. Okay, that's quite cool. I can see how that sort of stuff, obviously. Yeah, there's, a, there's a handle from the sort of stuff I had. So you can imagine what the sword was like, is like. So I'll put it to one side while I do a little bit of research. Probably I'm going to go and do um, an auction house job. Now what I'm trying to do is make space so I can push this back up and get my daughter in the car tomorrow, take her to preschool, so I can then come home and carry on. Oh, there's another bag. This is the last one, I think. I can see a Furby. Oh yeah, I remember this bag. We've got a Furby, whether it works or not, who knows. We're going to go to the charity shop. Lots more Lego. Is it legit? Yeah. Barnacle. Is that Harry Potter? I don't know. Any mini figures? Is there any mini figures? I always get paranoid around there when I hear helicopters. Look at that, it's a Chinook. Basically, I live a stone's throw away from AWE, which is the Atomic Weapons Experiments or X, whatever they call it, Atomic Weapons. Basically, they make and work on atomic wars, or atomic warheads, atomic weapons. So if anything was to ever kick off in this world, which is, you know, we're teetering on the edge, that is a primary target for anybody who wants to attack us. Um, when that happens, there's no say goodbye, blah, blah, blah. It's just, phew, we're gone, mate. Because I am literally, I don't know how close to explain. Half a mile away, and the place is probably four miles long, and that's not a joke. But anyway, we're, we're alive. I always get praying. Right, okay, so there's a potential to be loads of minifigures in there. So that's great. Anything standout-ish? No. Well, that's a nice little bunch, isn't it? We're full up again, though, which is a problem. So, yeah, now you can see exactly why this place always gets so full so quickly and constantly. I can clear it, and then the next day or two, it's full again, depending on what day I clear it. I just happen to have cleared this on a Tuesday. And then I went down there on a Wednesday. But it is what it is. Gary's live tonight. Not that you're going to see this tonight, but I need to get this place in some sort of order for me to just relax in. I am going to speak to John. I'm going to see if I can convince him and see if anything works for him to change the day. Because Wednesday ain't working for me. Wednesday is my busiest day. Once I'm finished here, it can take me, it can take me to 8 o'clock. And then I'm like, I want to go to bed. And I need to come and entertain you guys. Which I enjoy being there. I want to be like, at my best. Anyway. See ya.